I adore documentaries. I love documentaries. I do too. Um, and I really love murder. And so you should listen to Tig and Cheryl True Story. I'm I I am going to because okay. it sounds like you guys. You talk a lot about murder. We do a lot of murder. We do a lot. Like this week is uh, not murder, but it's uh, the Abercrombie and Fitch oh. Uh, oh, yeah. scandal. Yeah. Scandal. Yeah. A lot of scandals. A lot of murders. Um, but it's, uh, it's if there's a, a scandal that results in a murder, I'm ecstatic. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I'm not pro murder. I don't want to have the wrong idea. Yeah, you're pro murder. Yeah. Well, yeah. if I could get away with it and not be prosecuted, I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> well, and also to be very fair. Um, it's Cheryl Hines and I on the show, so mm -hmm. we're old friends, and there's a lot of nonsense that goes on. So it's not like investigative reporter or NPR vibe, right? So we well, that's good because we don't do nonsense on this podcast. Exactly. Yeah. Very okay. Yeah, but we'll anyone take... listening to this podcast, it's like, oh, good. I want to hear. It's no. It's <laughs> not that. I've noticed recently that there's this phenomenon where, and I think it really is because of the Netflix of it all, mm -hmm. but there's this phenomenon now where they have to pad out a podcast because yeah. companies, channels want streaming services. I'm saying they don't want two episodes or one episode of a, pod, of, mm -hmm. of a documentary. They really want like five or six. And if you can get to seven, that's great. So it'll be a really good story, mm -hmm. but it'll be a story that could be told in one, in mm -hmm. maybe two episodes. Yeah. For sure, and that's what, happening. And what they'll do is, I'll be watching it, and they'll be like, we sure don't know what happened to to Betty Lou. No one knows what happened to Betty Lou. They found her over and there. And which documentary is that? <laughs> this is called Whatever Happened to Betty Lou. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> Seven episodes? Seven episodes. And so they'll say, like, they found her over there. Mm. She was still alive when we found her. What did she say? She said, Derek did it. <laughs> and we're like, Derek who? And she's like, Derek P. Samuelson. <laughs> and then she died. What was found on the scene? A gun. Whose gun was it? It's registered to a Derek P. <laughs> Samuelson. <laughs> well... We better think about this for six episodes. Where does Derek Samuelson live? Over there. Think we should go arrest him? Mm, not just yet. First, let's talk about the town. The little town of McNulty is a kind of crazy town. In 1822, you're like, no, go get Derek. He's yeah. right over there. Mm -hmm. That's the world now is give us seven episodes. But then there, there, are, there are documentaries like the staircase oh, yes. yeah. that keep you riveted Fantastic. for 12 or more episodes. Yeah. You're like, oh my God, you feel like a crazy person because you're going back and forth going, that guy didn't do it. Oh my gosh, he did it. Yeah. Oh my yeah, gosh, that's that guy didn't do it. Long. Oh my it's gosh. Yeah. But you know and I've seen the, the series like three times. Yeah. But you know what, you know what uh, is amazing mm. about that phenomenon is that um, I think a great documentary is always going to be someone stumbles on gold yeah. accidentally. Yeah. Yeah. And Not so, actual gold. Uh, I should be very clear about <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> or unless that it's a be, documentary. That's not a bad documentary. What, if I, what about yeah. a documentary called Stumbling on Gold, mm. which follows people around until the crew finds someone who stumbles on actual gold? <laughs> but, that's, but that's the... Um, or it could be a comedian trying to find something funny. <laughs> yes. Stumbling on gold. Yeah. 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 Um, mm. That would be the one I would do. Just hours and hours of me, like, yeah, I don't think so. And <laughs> 20 people are hours. Out, people of... are out, 20 hours of people going, I don't know, that's not uh, really, that's, not, that's it. not even a joke. Worst, uh, worst um, but, what else do you got? But, that, but that's the case is that uh, the, the issue we have in our culture now is that technology changed, in mm -hmm. my opinion, and I'm being serious for just half a second, but technology oh. changed so that um, because of th th we have this new technology, Suddenly, uh, you, you go from like the Renaissance and all through history where people had to fight their way through a anonymity to make something great, and occasionally the great was made and then it endured. Now we have this thing which is like, that man, The Staircase was great. That's an amazing documentary. We need 95 more of those this yeah. year. Yeah. And it presupposes that suddenly uh, humanity's ability to produce great art is infinite when it's not. The streaming right. service is infinite. Mm -hmm. So everyone's wondering like, well, why is the bathtub water so low? It's because you made the bathtub 10,000 times bigger and there's just the same amount of water. So when you're flipping through channels, mm. Um, mm. you know, it's gonna be rare mm -hmm. that you find a really great show. The good will always be rare. Now, just, I'm gonna do this, it's gonna take 45 minutes, more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get to the next part of my thesis. When did this become a TED well, Talk? Well, you know, when, and I believe, and I say to you, <laughs> sorry. My my wife and I were. Um, I mean, this is how much I don't watch things. Is she was like, let's have a night where we just 
get in bed and watch TV together. And so I was like, okay. And, um, and so we got in bed, get the remote. We're flipping through the thousands of channels mm -hmm. past every rerun, every new show, every, ev everything on there. And then I piped up genuinely and said, and she makes fun of me for this to this day. She said, or I said, um, wait, 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 go back, go back. What was that? Was that a wagon? <laughs> a wagon? And, uh, and she said, what? And she went back a few channels and we couldn't find it. And she said, what, what was it? And I said, I don't know. I thought I saw a wagon and I thought I, my brain made up that it was a series of the history of wagons. You mean like a kid's, like a radio flyer wagon? No, like, like, a, like a, an old chuck wagon. L yeah, oh. chuck wagon. Oh. And I thought oh what I saw God. made my brain think it was the history of wagons <laughs> and I was so, I wanted to see that, the history of wagons. And then I we were laughing so hard that that out of everything that we were flipping through is what That's so my brain if somebody said there is a show on the history of wagons, I would watch that and I would watch, because this is the other thing is she was saying what, let's say it was the history of wagons. <laughs> then like, what are they gonna talk about? <laughs> and, See, that's and, how we're uh, different. I love it that my uh, version of that is Flipping through, flipping through, flipping through. Naked lady, you know, oh. and whatever. Just if you see some nudity, yeah. you're immediately. I'm sorry, you go right back to your to your adolescent brain. Like, there's a naked lady. I just want to see what's going on. And your version of that is, hold on a second. I think I saw a wagon. <laughs> and I would watch another episode that's like, uh, the history of history of wagons this week. The axle, right. you know, <laughs> like I, I could break it down and watch the minutia of how to build a wagon, wh who who created the wagon, who rode in a wagon. Um, Sounds like you need to make this show. Well, I'm all right. You're Come pitching on. it. She's pitching it yeah. right now. Yeah. Conan, you want to produce it? I only the history of wagons. I'll do it. You know what produced I'd like to do is I'd like, I'd, like to be the, I'd like to be the narrator. Is that possible? Absolutely. I could walk out and go, ah, the wagon. So often <laughs> taken for granted. Yet you realize that the wagon was uh, the primary source of transportation for all settlers but, who uh, in think the western about, region. Think about the actual wagon and the bench you sit on and the big wooden wheels and... Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It yeah. It doesn't interest you? No, it I mean, does. It to, certainly to does. To take all comedy of like, ha ha, Tig, that's boring, no. out of the picture. No, no, no. no. I, I do think it's um, going to be hard to get 15 get episodes. I think you need to start with what your about narration a special? saying, hello, hotel guest, and welcome. Hello, hotel guest. Yeah. And welcome. I understand that uh, you have peculiar tastes, <laughs> which is why I'm thrilled. <laughs> to welcome you. I hope you've boiled the uh, top sheet on the bed before we begin. That's what I always do. Uh, and I hope you've burned the comforter. Because yeah. God Soil knows that's, never, boil it. that's yeah. never been clean. The but only history. hotel guest not watching Forensic Files and watching a wagon. Uh, yeah. I love Forensic Files. Yeah. But a Forensic Files about the wagon yes. would be fine. The history of wagons. <laughs> Narrated by Conan O'Brien. Right. Ah, the wagon. <laughs> ah, the wagon. <laughs> the mighty warrior of the West. So often taken for granted, but not on this show. Over the next 75 episodes, <laughs> we'll start with the wheel, we'll go to the axle, See, then to the springs and then if I try, that cushion the bench. <laughs> the springs. There's no spring mm -hmm. on the wagon. I think there was a spring. Not in the 1800s. Oh, or... there was. Springs weren't no. invented in the 1800s. Whenever I am around a television and I tell Stephanie, wait, 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 go back. She's always like, would well, you see a wagon? Uh. <laughs>